Gonna be filming a conversation between two people? Let's look at how using the 180 degree rule will keep your shots consistent so that you won't confuse your audience. Hey everyone, Cambry here showing you how to use your camera to make good videos. So if you're new, consider subscribing and also joining my private Facebook group where I can better answer your filmmaking questions. But when it comes to filming a conversation between two people, you're probably pretty familiar with the over the shoulder shots that are typically used. But deciding on which side of your characters to place your cameras is where the 180 degree rule comes into play. So. What is the 180 degree rule? Well, if you remember back to geometry, a circle has 360 degrees. So let's draw a circle around our two characters and then draw a line through their position in the circle. Each side of the circle now has 180 degrees and your camera placements should stay on either side of that 180 degree dividing line during your character's conversation so that your viewers don't get confused on where your character's positions are. For example, in my last short film, I initially showed this angle when the husband got home from work and the wife came downstairs to meet him to give an idea of the layout. I then moved to this shot to establish on which side the conversation would take place and then continued my over the shoulder shots from there while remaining on that same side of the 180 degree line. Had I randomly changed one of the angles to the other side, it would have looked as if we were looking the same direction while talking. This is what can be confusing for your viewers because they're expecting each character to be on a separate side of the frame during the conversation, but instead they suddenly see your characters as if they're both looking the same way. Now there definitely are times when it makes sense to cross that 180 degree line, so let me know down in the comments if you've noticed this happen in any movies. And I'm going to make a separate video on when to cross that line and break the 180 degree rule for better storytelling, but in general, sticking to one side of that line will make the most sense for your viewers. And aside from sticking to one side of the 180 degree line for your conversations, there's also a few framing considerations you want to think about when it comes to those conversations. You typically want your character to be looking towards the empty side of the frame. And this is pretty obvious when it's an over the shoulder because you'll have both characters in frame, but when you cut to a close up, it becomes more important. If we went from this over the shoulder shot to this single, the framing just feels off because all the space is behind the character and it makes it seem like he's disconnected from the conversation. Instead, you'd want to frame it like this, where the frame is open in front of him, also known as lead room, so that it looks like he's talking toward the other character. And you might think of it as giving your character space to breathe, and there are exceptions to this technique that I am going to make another video on as well, but in general, you want to frame your conversations this way, giving your character enough room to breathe so that it feels natural rather than giving a closed off or uneasy feeling in your shot. And that's how using the 180 degree rule, as well as some framing considerations, can help you film a two-way conversation that stays consistent and makes sense to your viewer. And of course, there are times when you want to break the 180 degree rule that can help you better tell your story, but if you are going to break it, just make sure you have a reason for it rather than just doing it by mistake. And as always, if this video was helpful, then please help me out by leaving a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.